Hi, it's Amanda, the nail polish hound, and welcome to my winter nail polish rack. This is a collaboration video, and I will be linking all the other participants in the description bar below. We've been planning this video for a little while now, so I have actually worn some of the polishes already, and where I have done that, I will be putting in swatch pictures for you too. I've never done a nail polish rack before, um, this is my first one and I decided to split my choices um, into three categories. Untried, some polishes that are old favourites that I want to wear again and then some of my project polishes. But before we make a start on that I just want to quickly show you what's on my nails in this video. I have been wearing this Manny for a couple of days so there is a little bit of tip wear and it is one of the polishes from my polish rack and also from my project polish on the left there, the nail zinc and I've topped it with Indian Ocean by Model Zone also from my project polish and I am in love with the result. If anyone knows of an actual polish that looks like this, please let me know in the description bar below um, because both of these polishes are now discontinued. So let's make a start now on my choices for my polish rack and the first collection are all untried polishes and by this I mean polishes that I have never worn in a full manicure when I may have swatched them on one hand for Instagram. My first choice is this polish by Pretty Serious, it's called the Crimson Pearl and it was given to me by Claire Grey and this is a sort of reddy plum colour with purple hints in it and a blue to purple shimmer. The next polish is by Essence and this is called Rocker Blue and was given to me by Nika of Nika's Naughty Nails. It's a very pale grey um, with just a touch of blue in it and a lovely silver shimmer. Next up, also given to me by Nika, uh, we have this old princess nail lacquer. It's called Merry Weather True Loves Kisses. It's got a little bit of ugly bottle syndrome going on. It needs a good shake, um, but this one does look extremely pretty and I'm really looking forward to wearing it. Then we've got a Dandelion Clock by Prism Polish and I have already worn this one this winter um, and I really love this. Um, very pale blue, duck egg blue um, with those lovely red to gold flakies in it. I got a lot of compliments when I wore this polish and it's very pretty on the nail indeed. Next we have another prism polish in the mini size. Um, this is Snuggly Snood uh, with the unicorn pea pigment in it. You can see sparkling away there, um, red through to yellow and green. And this is meant to go on the top of Cortinarius, which I have worn on its own, but I haven't yet worn this topper over it. Then we have a fairly recent purchase. This one is by Cadillaca and it's called New York. Um, I just love those square matte blue glitters in it. Um, it's really unusual polish. A little bit brighter than most of the polishes that I've chosen to wear over the winter, um, but couldn't resist trying this one out. Then we have I'm Just a Simple Tailor by Arda's Nails. This one was developed as a collaboration polish with Louise of Loopy Frog Nails. I have already worn this one and it's very pretty. You can see in the bottle there all of those sparkles that just catch the light um, and uh, otherwise it looks like you're wearing a purpley grey polish um, but it's got that hidden dimension in it that sparkles away when you do catch it in the right light. Then we have Susie and the Arctic Fox by OPI. I've had this polish for a little while now. I think I did swatch it when I first bought it, um, but I've never worn it in a full manicure. And I love these sort of really dark, purpley gray colors that are really muted. This one uh, looks almost black in certain lights and uh, I'm really looking forward to wearing this. 
Next up is Perplexed by Ardus Nails um, and I did actually win the competition to name this polish um, and I was sent a bottle um, for winning that competition and I have worn this one, uh, it is as pretty on the nails as it is in the bottle. And my last untried choice to wear over winter is Party at Home by Princess Nail Lacquer who has recently started making polishes again. Um, they are absolutely beautiful and it's a real struggle not to buy every single one that she brings out. Um, this one I'm still trying to find a polish to go with it because I don't want to wear it as a full manicure. So if you've got any ideas of what would go nicely with this so I can wear it as an accent nail please let me know in the comments below. So that was all my untrieds that I picked. Uh, now on to some old favourites which I wanted to show some love as well. First of all we have got Cirque Colours Feta Morgana. Um, just love this polish. It was a favourite from last year um, and I really want to wear it again. It's so pretty with that gold shimmer in it, ever so delicate in colour um, and also the little holographic sparkles glittering away in there. Um, it's quite subtle on the nail but again if you catch it in the right light it's absolutely stunning. Next up we have got Candy Apple by 90 and if you've watched some of my videos in the past you will know that this is a long time favourite of mine. Uh, I like to wear it at least once a year if not more than that and that's saying a lot with a collection the size that I have. Um, it's just the most beautiful linear holographic pink um, and I just love wearing this one. Another really old polish from my collection is Barriel's L Spell and I picked this one up really early in my collecting uh, when I first started really getting into nail polish and I saw this one on a video by Miss Holly Berries. Uh, it is very sheer um, so it is best worn over the top of another polish. Now, I've previously worn it over a black although I don't still have that photograph um, but I'm going to try wearing it over this red. Um, so this is OPI's Malaga Wine. It is a classic OPI colour. I think I've only worn this one once in the past. I do have an awful lot of red polishes but I thought this one would go really really nicely with the Barry L polish um, so I'm going to wear these two together in a manicure soon but I haven't got around to wearing this one yet. Another polish that I've not worn in a very long time is this one by Polish Me Royalty and it is called Tutti Fruity. This is one of my favourites if not my very favourite polish by Polish Me Royalty who unfortunately is not making polish at the moment. So I don't wear this one very often um, because I won't be able to get hold of it again um, but I do love to wear it every once in a while. The next favourite is Caitlin by Zoya and I have also worn this one already. I pulled this one because I thought it might be a nice match for the um, ultimate grey colour of the year by Pantone. It's actually a little bit too dark um, but I really enjoy this polish so I kept it out to wear it. I also used it as a base for my recent Manny, for the Manny Swap Circle Challenge. Then we have Cuccio Colours Quick as a Bunny and I have worn this polish as well already. I used this one as the base for um, a plaid mani that I did recently um, but just enjoyed wearing it all on its own for one day because it matched my jumper so nicely. Also reworn again already this winter we have Cubicle Pusher by KB Shimmer. Um, this is one of my favourite polishes of all time. I just love this linear holographic polish. It's really muted colour but beautiful on the nail and the linear holographic finish on it is truly beautiful. Now here's a really old polish from my collection. Um, this is Hot List by Rimmel London um, and I bought this one because it is supposed to be a dupe for Chanel's Paradoxical. 
I don't have Paradoxical to compare it to and never have um, got hold of it but uh, this beautiful polish has got such a strong purple shimmer in it it is truly stunning but I haven't worn it in absolutely ages so I was really pleased to pick it out and pop it onto my nail polish rack and I will be wearing it again this winter. I'm really enjoying picking polishes for a rack like this because I think otherwise um, polishes like this one tend to get missed when I'm just hunting for something to wear without really thinking about picking things from all parts of my collection. So that brings us on to the final two polishes for my rack and these are both from my project polish and they're both nails ink polishes and quite old ones as well which is why I've pulled them to use them up. Um, the first one is this a lovely um, taupe colour and it is called Porchester Square. Um, I have already worn this one a couple of times this winter. And the second one is Lounder Square. Um, it was in my project polish last year and has carried forward to this year. And as you saw in the beginning, it is one of the polishes that is on my nails in this video. So that's the 21 nail polishes that I've picked out from my collection that I would like to wear over this winter. This is a really fun collaboration to do, I'm hoping we continue to do it through the rest of the seasons. I'm not a very seasonal nail polish wearer, I just pick the colours that I fancy wearing at the time. So these may not be what you think of as typical winter polishes but um, they're the ones I wanted to wear right now. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it and if you stayed to the very end thank you for that. I uh, hope you will like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one and of course don't forget to please check out the videos by all the other people who are taking part in this collaboration. <laughs>